Let's draw airplanes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Gogo -Go Mock Rocket Cheap. Today we're going to be drawing airplanes. Airplanes are a lot of fun to draw. Uh, easy mode is going to be a relatively simple, uh, quick side view of an airplane. Medium mode, we're going to try to do a 3D airplane. And then hard mode is we're going to find a cool picture of a fighter jet and uh, draw that from reference. But before we get to any of that, let's take a look at the art that you sent in last week. First thing you start off with is a circle. We always start with circles, don't we? Okay, and then you start with a little circle. I'm gonna come back here and do a little circle over here. And remember to draw lightly in pencil so that you can erase it later. Then you connect the two circles, kind of make it uh, bulbous. At the back, we're gonna jut up a little line, parallel uh, over, make this line parallel with this line and bring it down then halfway in between here draw a line and bring it out like that then on this side you draw the line straight through and you bring it there you go so there's the tail of the airplane now about a little bit more than halfway up the the body of the airplane here right here right there to right there draw a line so draw a line out and back and then have it go like that now on this side of the plane just draw it straight through back and then line it up to there and uh, we'll you know we'll erase this part after then at the front here with the circle you draw a little bulb like this and then you draw the nose and bring it in the nose of the airplane to that bottom line there Kind of looks like a beluga whale's head wearing Jordy LaForge's visor. <laughs> it's a little Star Trek reference for you if, you if you like Star Trek. Okay, then we draw windows over the top of the wing. The wing kind of maybe will go there. Over top of the wing. A little door, which is a little rectangle at the back with a window in it. And a rectangle with a window in it. And that means that the pilot's window needs to move up a little bit. Good thing we're drawing in pencil so we can erase easily, right? Okay, and of course this plane needs jets, so we're going to give it a little... Uh, we can do better than that. Give it an oval halfway under the wing there, and then bring it back under on the other side. Do an oval too. It's going to be kind of blocked by the body of the plane. All right, so there is your easy mode pencils. I love drawing with pencils first and then outlining in ink later because you can be real messy and have a lot of fun and make it look the way that you want to and then clean it up after the fact. There's the easy mode airplane. I made it all gray. Maybe the next airplane I'll try to make a little more colorful. Medium, Medium mode. mode. We're going to be drawing a biplane and uh, we're going to start with a cylinder, which is just a circle, two circles connected, right, to make it into like a can, but we're going to do it sort of top down mode um, by which I mean it's gonna be 3d but it's gonna be kind of like this okay and taper it so that it gets smaller at the back and even a little smaller at the back that's good okay the cockpit of the plane is gonna be right at the front and it's gonna be open air so draw a little oval and then cut it in half like this okay then uh, let's start with the wing. The wing comes right through the bottom. And it's a straight line through the fuselage. 
Hmm, the angle's kind of off. It's got to be more like that. Straight line through the fuselage. Nice. Okay, and this is the, the bottom wing for now. We're going to build another wing on top of it in a minute. The back, let's add the tail. Okay. Um, okay, there's the tail. A rectangle on each side of the body. And then let's build a rectangle on top. Nice. Okay. Then add the fairing of the engine, uh, which is just to say, kind of build up a, a cylinder at the top of the cylinder that's a little bit bigger. Then in the middle of it, put a circle for the propeller. And the propeller is just two ovals that come out of the middle of that. Okay. Now it's a biplane. So we want to add another wing so add the lines for the struts for the wing on top we're going to kind of make it look like another rectangle oopsies there we go make sure again that you're drawing these pencil lines nice and light because you probably have to well you will have to erase them after okay uh this wing is too long over here so i'm going to make the wings the same length okay so then you need your landing gear out and a big old wheel and then one on the other side too. And these ones are tail draggers so they have a little and then you add the flaps okay make those a little more curvy okay so now that you've done that, you have your basic pencils. Okay, now that you kind of have your pencils the way that you want them to be, generally speaking, um, you know, you kind of got the different structures of the plane, different plane wings, the struts in place. Okay, got the littler wing on the bottom, a little bit bigger of a wing on the top. Okay, now, of course, uh, we take our ink and we ink it and then we color it up. You'll notice that when I'm inking, I'm also adding a bunch of additional details. Uh, not everybody does it this way, but I do because as I can clean up uh, my image by outlining my pencils, I can see that it needs a little more flair, some pizzazz. So I add some details and looks nice. There we have our medium mode biplane and I made it a little color more colorful because uh yeah the first one was just all gray so this one's kind of a peachy take on the red baron hard mode go to google or a magazine or a book or anything like that find a cool picture of a fighter jet or an airplane or anything that kind of catches your eye and draw it as best as you can You'll notice that I'm always drawing on an iPad and my favorite thing about drawing on an iPad is you can undo mistakes if you want and coloring is actually really easy. It takes hardly any time at all. All right, so that is my plane. I tried to draw an F-14 and it came out okay. Uh, looks pretty cool, I think, um, although uh, it's a little bendy, but that's okay. That's why we practice, that's why we do these things. Uh, I'll probably come back and then try this one again later. But anyway, thanks for drawing with me and if you had a good time, uh, please send me your art. I'd love to see it and then I'd put it in the next week's video. So thanks so much, see you next time.